Hey everyone, Alan Peterson here. Happy New Year. Since we're starting uh, 2022 here, I thought it'd be a good time to uh, update you on my uh, querying for an agent. If you've been following the other videos, uh, you know that last year I started for the first time in my writing career, I decided to query for an agent. And uh, this is for a new crime thriller series that I'm writing. Uh, the first book is already all written. I've had it uh, edited and proofread, and that is why I, uh, that's the one I actually started uh, querying agents for um, in uh, last year. And so, and so um, the first book is written. The uh, second book I'm writing right now, and I already had the uh, idea for the uh, third and fourth book. Uh, so this is going to be a series that's going forward no matter what happened here. That was always my intention here. Uh, I wanted to get the, I have three books ready to go uh, before I start publishing them myself. However, uh, while I was writing the second and third book, I thought it'd be a good time for me to uh, try my, dip my hat into the uh, querying world. And so, uh, and I was very specific with what I wanted to uh what I was looking for for querying uh, for an agent. Um, I didn't want um, a small independent publishing uh, company, no disrespect to them, but um, I just figure as an independent publisher, I can do that myself. I wanted one of the big uh, houses, uh, Thomas and Mercer, uh, something like that. Uh, but however, that was a moot point because uh, it I, I didn't end up getting any takers. I sent out, uh, let me show you here on my query tracker. So I sent out a total of 80 queries. Uh, I had about, uh, I still have about 20 more agents to go, but I decided um, that uh, I was kind of done with the process. I didn't want to waste any more time with this. Uh, all the top agents uh, that, that I wanted, you know, my dream agents, my dream list, um, all said no, or I didn't hear back from them. So I just didn't see what the point was. I'm just gonna, was just gonna go ahead with the plan B, which was to do what I did with my other books and uh, just do it independently. Uh, but anyway, it was an interesting process. As I said, I sent out uh, 80 uh, queries, as you can see. I received 58 negative replies, uh, two positive replies. Uh, that was uh, one request for the full manuscript and then another one for e a partial manuscript. Uh, both those ages ended up uh, uh, rejecting it. Um, so that's that. And then um, as of uh, January 6th, uh, 2022, I still have 20 uh, queries out. Um, but I'm not, um, some of them are really, really old. Um, and so I'm not, uh, I'm just kind of moving forward from that. Uh, let me sh see here. So the, uh, here's the outstanding queries that I have out still. Um, I have um, uh, uh, 28 days is the, is the uh, youngest one, the freshest one, the newest one. And one's like 77 days old. So I'm just going to close those that are uh, going on uh, on three months. I'm just going to go ahead and close those out as well. Uh, but anyway, it was an interesting it was an interesting um, uh, process. And uh, and yeah, it, it, you know, it is it is rough. You know, you <laughs> you study these out. You start thinking about yourself when they start rejecting you. You start thinking, hmm. And I, and I know you know it's. It's kind of funny too. All the agents when they re when they reject you, they basically I use form letters, um, and every single one when they reject it is kind of like um, don't give up. You know, it's basically it's like a, it's not you, it's me type of a thing, uh, which I guess is kind of nice. I don't know, but um, it's just kind of kind of silly when all of them are, are saying the same thing. But hey, at least they took 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 time to send a uh, a rejection uh, to be able to close that out. Like I said, I still have uh, 20 um, queries out that I never heard back from them, um, including some that are 70 plus 77 days old. You know, that's you know, what, uh, going on, on three months now. Um, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. And some of them do say that if you don't hear back from us, that means we're not interested. So, you know. Uh, that's the uh, the way the cookie crumbles. Um, but however, it is kind of tough when you start getting all these rejections because then you, it starts messing with your head. You know, like, well, geez, maybe this isn't any good. You know, maybe. Um, and I know by the time I started querying agents, I was already writing the second book, and uh, and I did go into a process where I stopped writing for a while the second book because I think I was kind of I was starting to get this in, uh, I was trying to get have this. Uh, this process kind of mess with my head, uh, so it is. So it is kind of a a, a, a mind uh, game <laughs> that goes on with this. 
And now I understand uh, hearing people who, just about everybody who's ever gone through this process has received multiple, multiple rejections. Uh, I've, you know, even for my podcast, I've interviewed, you know, uh, close to 200 authors and uh, not one has ever said like, oh, I, you know, I sent out one uh, query letter and I got signed and I got the, and I got published and it was easy peasy. It's always a slog. You're always going to get rejected. Um, but we, the, the, the good thing, though, is that we're living in, in really different times um, with the advent of independent publishing here in the last, you know, five, ten years uh, with Amazon. Uh, you can go direct, you know, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to put these uh, manuscripts away. I'm not going to keep tweaking and then resubmitting to agents. Um, I'm done with it. I gave it a shot. Uh, this one didn't work out. Uh, I'm going to publish it myself and let the readers decide uh, whether or not the, <laughs> the books are, uh, are any good or not. Um, so that is my plan here for uh, 2022. Um, I'm not going to start publishing the first book until I have the third one done. And then I'm going to publish all three of them uh, probably within, you know, uh, one a month. And then uh, go from there. So right now I'm in that in that stage. I'm 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 trying to finish the second book. I need to also then write the third, of course. Uh, I need to put, get the covers uh, put together. Um, I already have the uh, editing and proofreading lined up. Uh, the first one is all complete. This, I already have a proof uh, editor lined up for the second one. So it's all you know. So it's all moving along here. I'm hoping to publish the first book. Um, you know. April, May, hopefully, and uh, go from there uh, of this year, 2022. That's the one nice thing about this publishing, too, because even if I would have got an agent, they would have had to go out and sold it, uh, you know, try to sell the manuscript. So even if I would have got an agent, it wouldn't be guaranteed that this would have, uh, you know, been a done deal. The publisher could have said, no, we don't, you know, know to the agent. And even if everything would have fallen into place, um, realistic, realistically speaking, I probably, the book probably wouldn't have been released you know, until 2023, probably at the latest, at the er, at the at the earliest, uh, because that's how slow the publishing traditional publishing world moves. Now I'll be able to have my I'll probably have all three books out, if not all four books out uh, this year. So that's the beauty of it all. And I am seeing now uh, publishers like Bookature, which is a, a good independent publisher. Um, well, I think they're I think they're associated with one of the big uh, the big publishing houses now, or with the imprints or something. But anyway, they're they're a lot of these books now. A lot of these uh, uh, publishing houses are starting to adopt the uh, the indie model of publishing, you know, three four books in a series in a year. And so, and I've even saw that from uh, some of the authors I've interviewed for my podcast, Meet the Thriller Author, where they're now requiring, you know, a couple books a year. And so, so yeah, things are, the, the readers want their books, uh, want more books. And so, you know, the pub, traditional publishing houses are, they're still slow, but they're trying to move a little bit faster now uh, compared to what it used to be in the past. So it's kind of a fascinating, fascinating. Uh, but anyway, that's a side note. So yes, um, my submission process here, as you can see, uh, 72%, uh, 73% uh, said uh, no, uh, negative replies. 25% uh, is still out there and 2.5% were positive. Uh, but those ended up being uh, negatives as well because they <laughs> also turned it down. So uh, anyway, it was a very interesting uh, process here. And if you're uh, going through this, um, you know, it's going to be tough, but, uh, you know, you have to keep your chin up and keep going forward and and don't get discouraged. You know, uh, we have a lot of options now. You don't have to uh, you don't have to bow down to the gatekeepers anymore like we used to have to do it in the past. Um, so, like I said, uh, I'm still going to publish these books. I don't care what these agents thought of it. <laughs> I'm going to do it myself. And then uh, we'll let the uh, readers uh, decide. And so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll keep you posted throughout the year. It'll be interesting to see uh, how well those books are received, um, if they are received well, <laughs> and if they sell well. It's all going to be inter interesting to uh, see how that uh, process uh, play, pl plays out uh, throughout this year here in uh, 20. 22. All right. So hopefully you're doing well. You're staying safe out there in this crazy uh, world that we're living now. Uh, hopefully everything, you're all safe uh, for yourself and your family, and your loved ones, and your friends. Um, but uh, anyway, that's the uh, this is going to be the last uh, video I put together on my uh, querying uh, for this uh, manuscript. And uh, that's it. But uh, uh, 
keep posted because I'm going to walk you through uh, publishing these books um, myself, uh, post them independently. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos on that throughout the year. All right, uh, take care.